Are you guys seeing what I'm cooking right here? Let's go. Do you wanna build mobile applications with no code? How about using a mobile device to build mobile applications with no code? So Rourke just announced their iOS application. I can't wait to try it. In this video, I'm gonna actually download it and then I'm gonna build something with Rourke, new iOS app, no code from start to finish. Let's see how far we can get. I'm super pumped to try this, so let's go. Let's jump right into it. Let me actually scan it, scan it in and download it. Let me show you my screen really quick. There we go. And together we're gonna do this. So I've been waiting for this for months. I've used Work a lot. I've done a bunch of videos with them. I think by far it is the best React Native with Expo mobile building platform. And I'm sure it's gonna be the same. So let's see how it actually works. So we are now logged in. I can see all of my projects that I've built. As you guys can see, I'm definitely a heavy user. So I'm gonna jump right in and come up with an idea. So let's see what we can do. Let's challenge it. I'm just gonna go off the cuff here and start with something fun. I want to build a mobile fitness application that actually tracks my squats, period. I want to enable the iPhone's functionality using Expo to allow the phone to track the distance of me doing a squat from a starting position to an end position. Let's do it. I've actually never tried this. Oh, it says I'll ping you when I'm done. Okay, I like it. So it's just gonna go off and start building this for us using the mobile application. So I've used Rourke, I've done many projects with it as you guys have seen. I've actually built a Rourke project called Zen Mind Timer that actually launched into the App Store in 24 hours. Zero lines of code. So if you're a non-technical person, I think this video is going to be very interesting for you to see what is now possible with these no-code tools. So Zen Mind Timer, I actually got in the App Store, let me show you. So right here, here is the actual app. This is live right now. And it's a simple timer, but I challenged myself to see if I could use Rourke to build an application from start to finish, get it approved into the App Store. There's another video, you guys can find it on my channel. But this is the power of these tools now. You're no longer needing to spend months hiring a developer and actually building out full applications that you could launch into the store. You can literally do this in 24 hours. So let's see how it performs. So let's see what it says. I'll create a fitness app that tracks your squats using your iPhone's motion sensor, drawing inspiration from Nike Training Club, real-time squat detection using the accelerometer and gyroscope, automatic rep counter with motion analysis, visual depth indication showing squat quality, heptic feedback for completed reps, session stats, history, beautiful gradient, smooth animations, and then design elements is dark theme with electronic blue purple gradients, large bold numbers, circular progress. So it definitely understood my natural language prompt. I don't wanna go in and give it some big huge PRD. These LLMs, these tools are getting so smart that you could just speak into existence exactly what you're looking to do without the need of some huge PRD. Obviously this is going to be a simple one function application and then as we get further into it, setting up backend, setting up payments if we need to, then we get into the more complex planning and PRD. But for now, this is plenty. So this is the one big thing that I've been preaching and screaming through the rooftops is you no longer need some big, huge plan. I believe this is the best way to go. The, the LLMs have all the information. They know how to code and it's only accelerating getting faster because the whole idea of vibe coding is you don't understand the technical spec, how to set up environments, all the different things that it takes to build applications and now you could do it using your mobile phone which is absolutely crazy. I can't wait to see the first version. I truly believe that mobile development is going to be the fastest growing industry with no code and vibe coding because it's on your phone. You don't need to go to a website. Sure, web projects, web apps are great, but I do believe that the consumer with the apps is going to be the fastest growing space and that's what work is focused on exclusively with mobile development. They use React Native with Expo all built in and of course you can still set up everything. There's integrations, you can set up your front end, your back end, your login authentication. So I've never actually built an app with my phone. I know there's a few out there, 
but this is my first shot at this and I'm curious to see what's gonna end up happening. What I like about Rourke is since it uses Expo, a lot of the stuff like access to accelerometer, your gyroscope, it can actually do that directly with your Apple's hardware. And the great thing about building in Rourke, you're able to cross-platform build. So you could launch it on the App Store and then also you could launch it on the Google Play Store. This is the big breakthrough is you don't have to go exclusively into Xcode for iOS and build it in Swift, which is their native language. You could just use React Native with Expo to do it and then also launch it into the Google Play Store. Big deal for sure. So while this is going, let's take a look down here. Here's some examples of apps that are in the store right now, all built with Rourke. So Fight AI, let's take a look. So this is in Fight AI, your AI MMA coach. Very cool. So that's one. You can check that out. It's got some reviews already. Then we got Safe Hours. What is this? Safe Hours. This is Safe Hours is a tool designed specifically for certified flight instructors. So this looks like an internal app that somebody built probably for a use case specific to their business. I love it. The fact that this is even possible now still blows my mind. I was early into the iPhone app store building products for it and it took weeks if not months with a full staff of developers and designers and uh, project managers just to get a product to the app store and then the whole process of getting it approved was a nightmare and now everything is being able to be done in one tool using the damn phone i mean we really are living in the future it's crazy so we got a bunch of other ones here we got event well, let's see what this is sounds like some kind of event app not available in my region, so here it is. So your event perfectly planned. So it looks like it's for iPad. Very cool. Then we got your race pilot. Let's take a look at this one. So this is a paid app, so somebody actually set up your payment and it looks like it's some type of a race plan with all of your tracking details of running. So this has some definitely some good technology. Yeah, crazy. So if you guys haven't started building, I mean, this is the time. These tools are so smart and so good that if you're a non-technical idea person, you could execute this. This is one of the reasons why I launched our school community called AI Builders. If you guys wanna jump in, we have a whole thriving community. There's 325 people in here right now, all building, and I set up a three-step framework for you from start to finish, ideation, actually building, and inside our classroom, you can see we have all your starting, your foundation, ideation, your build using no-code tools, and then launching your actual product and doing marketing. So a little selfless plug, but I did this for you guys. I do the YouTube videos, which you guys love, but now I've put together a designated place where you guys can come in and actually build with like-minded creators. And of course, if you guys want to try work, all the links are below. I love those guys. I think they've done a fantastic job. And also, if you want to join the boot camp, all those... That is my whole goal here, get you started. I started in the AI space just like everyone else. I went head first a year ago and now I've built over 120 YouTube videos with different projects, launched a bunch of projects and now have this amazing community for you guys. And we're not talking about theory. This is people actually going in. So for example, Drew Griffin here, who's a fantastic creator, he has launched a bunch of projects. We have Daniel who's about to finish. He has an incredible story leaving his job and getting into no code. We have other people launching their dashboards. This is a PDF document reader. People are actually building full-blown businesses. Here's Christoph. He's been in there absolutely crushing it, launching probably his fourth product. And I know he already built three products that he sold. So these are the type of people you're gonna be around, all working together, collaborating on getting a product out there. I'm still blown away by this though, look at this. I'm literally using my mobile phone to build a freaking application. <laughs> Still insane to me. I'll never get over the fact that we now have the superpower to build anything. And look what it's doing. It's changing everything, creating, editing, updating. And I love what it says right here though. It's, look, it says, let's fine tune this to make it even better. We are done. So it took four and a half minutes. Let's take a look at this together. So I have to actually be on my phone. You guys could see, so I go down. We got stats, look at that, ooh, that's so clean. That's very Apple-esque. We also got profile, 
with our weekly goals. Can I modify this? I can. Let's take a look. All right. Clear all data. Reminder. Let's go back to stats. So then we have the start workout. I'm so freaking curious to see if this works on the first shot. This is going to be insane. All right. So let's try it. So I'm going to hit start workout. Let's see how this works. Oh, it does the actual depth. Let me go down. Does it count the reps? Let's see. <laughs> Just the fact that it did this. All right, let's see how we can get it. So I, oh, I could see the depth right here. Okay. It does work, but it's not registering the reps. Let me figure out how to go back now to edit. I think, oh, I just click right there. Okay, perfect. So now let's say this. Everything works, but when I go down to my squat, it doesn't register as a completed squat, period. All right, prompt two, five minutes. Damn. So it says, now let me add a calibration phase and improve the detection by using the Z axis, which is more reliable for vertical motion. Perfect. Just the fact that it was able to connect everything inside of the phone with one prompt using natural language is definitely the power of where this is all going. Okay, so it finished and he gave me some instructions how to use hold your phone against your chest, start the workout and hold still for one to two seconds while it calibrates, perform your squat, the detection should now be more sensitive. You'll see console logs. All right, let's try it. All right, start workout. Ha, this is freaking fun. All right, so we're gonna put on our chest. So now it's a little too sensitive. It does work though. That's freaking crazy. Are you guys seeing what I'm cooking right here? I don't think you're getting it. Wow, absolutely insane. It works in five minutes. I just built a freaking motion detected squat app in a matter of minutes that works. Let's see if it tracks it. We got our stats, look at that. Total squats, average depth, my streak. Yeah, crazy. I mean, it's absolutely crazy what you can do now. If this doesn't inspire you guys to get out there and start building your own mobile applications, you saw me do this in a 12 minute video from start to finish with three simple prompts. That's it. Now we can obviously elaborate on this, fine tune it. We can definitely do so much more to this. I do wanna try one more thing. I think that'll just be fun. Is I wanna actually calibrate it to do like a pre-squat setting. So let me try this. Wow, I'm blown away. All right, so let's go back to the editor and say this. I want to now create a squat detection before I start doing my squats, period. So it knows exactly where I start and where I end my squat and then it calibrates it and that is what is being used to actually track my squats, period. So I want to have a button that says calibrate natural language, super simple. When I think about this idea, actually, this is actually pretty dope. I think this would be really good for push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups. I mean, you could honestly do everything using AI. So I'm going to be launching this in the store. No questions. And also the reason I'm doing this because I sit at my desk for so long that now I'll be able to just challenge myself, set up some notifications for this app to remind me every hour to do 25 squats. The phone will ping me, we'll set up some notifications, and then I'll be able to have to, then I'll be forced to actually do the workouts. Oh, I just came up with a name. How about Vibe Fitness? <laughs> All right, two minutes finished. Let's take a look. Calibration system, user interface, how to use. When you start a workout, you'll see a mojo asking to calibrate start calibration, stand up straight, and hold for three seconds. When prompted, squat down to your lowest position and hold for three seconds. The app will vibrate when each step is complete. Once calibrated, the app will track the squats based on your personal range. Crazy. All right, let's try it. All right, here we go. 
Look at that, start calibration. Okay, stand up straight, squat to your lowest position. All right, let's try this. Wait, let me show it to you right here. All right, calibrating your squat down. Wait, that was too fast. One more time. There it is. All right, let's see if it works. Nope, I think, it, oh, it does work. Hold on, one more. <laughs> Let me see. Nope, not, I think it's a little too fast. All right, let's try it again. Oh, maybe you know why, because I keep moving it down. Let's try it one more time. Here we go. <laughs> Yo! Are you guys seeing what I'm cooking right here? Let's go! We just built a full mobile application that tracks your squats using Rourke on a freaking phone. All of the vibe coding is done on the phone. Yeah, we're living in the simulation right here, guys. All right, so now we're back on the web. Let's open up our project inside of the web-based. We also have our QR code right here and we have our expo. So now we have it working. So what I can do in here is now I can push this to Git. So that's the first thing, of course. So we're gonna create a repository. We're gonna call this Rourke Squat. No, we're actually let's go, let's go with Vibe, Vibe Fitness. Hit create repository. Make sure you guys do that just to save your versioning. I should have done this in the beginning, but I didn't, but it didn't have any errors. So, and then also we have our back end. You can, you can enable this inside of Rourke. So what this will do is this will just store your data locally and also secure all your APIs. And it just allows a lot more interaction. So it's not a true back end, but it is their version to keep stuff safe for you. And then next, what you can do is you can come right up here to publish. And then right here is where you would go in and publish to the app store. Obviously the app is not done. This is a quick, you know, 15, 20 minute video, but I want to show you. So once you have the app exactly finished how you want it, you would click publish to the app store and then you would create a new submission. You log in with your Apple development account, which you need, and it's 99 bucks a year. And then you set up your Expo account, add your app info, and then hit submit. I've done this before. It's really, really easy. And obviously when you go into the app store, you need to set everything up. You need to get your thumbnails done. You need to get your descriptions, keywords, all that stuff on the Apple front, and then connect those two worlds together. And then you're done. And it's the same for the Google Play Store. It's just right here. So I'll make another video because I'm gonna continue developing this idea to do a version two of this where I actually add some more features to it. And then I'll show you exactly how to launch this in the store if you guys want, but I'm blown away. It works. It took 15, 20 minutes to get something like it would have taken me weeks with my dev and just to design it, just to put everything together, get the gyroscope working. I can feel it actually counting right now, the reps. Look at that, we're up to 17 right now. So this is the power of no code now, especially for mobile development. And the fact that you could do it on the phone is definitely next level. I've never seen anything like this. I'm glad I tried it and I can't wait to build more stuff. Pretty crazy. So enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video.